Welcome back, everybody. Now, 16-year-old Kimberly Beauty Tiane Willemse walked off with the title of Miss Teen Universe South Africa 2022. She was crowned last Sunday during a ceremony held at the Coastlands Musgrave Hotel in Durban. She will be representing South Africa in the Miss Teen Universe pageant to be held sometime in November in the United States in Florida. She joins us now this morning in studio to share more on what she'll be doing during her reign. Tiane, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. And Thank congratulations you. once again. Thank you so much. Has it sunk in as yet? Yes. Sorry? Has, has it sunk in as yet that you're actually Miss Teen Universe? It still, <clears throat> it still feels unbelievable. But right? Yes. <laughs> how did it feel? I mean, that crowning moment, how was it for you? How did it feel? What was going through your mind? It was honestly unbelievable. It felt like a dream, but I worked so hard for this title and I was just so happy and thrilled that all my hard work and dedication actually paid off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me, why did you decide to enter this pageant in the first place? I always did these small pageants and I wanted to do something bigger that would take me places. Right, so right. I saw the opportunity of Miss Teen Universe and I couldn't resist. It was literally like a dream. Right. So what's your role then as the winner of Miss Teen Universe South Africa? Miss Teen Universe South Africa is a girl child empowerment program. Mm -hmm. So I am an ambassador for the youth in South Africa. With this title, I'm able to reach out to media and raise concerns that touches the youth in South Africa. Right. And then I'm also going to represent South Africa in Miami. Mm -hmm. So I obviously need a lot of sponsorships and collaborations and people to work with to make my trip to USA possible. Mm -hmm. I feel my reign will not only be about me, but about my people in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are some of the big issues affecting young South Africans, in particular uh, girls, young girls in South Africa, that uh, you'll be tackling or maybe just inspiring other girls to be better versions of themselves? So since we are a girl child empowerment program, I want to be an example for them right. and I just want to let them know that anything is possible and it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from or what right, you have right. to do whatever you want to accomplish in life. So, Tiana, now that you are still in school, uh, how would you be able to juggle your role as uh, Miss Teen Universe South Africa and, uh, well, hopefully Miss Teen World, <laughs> Miss Teen Universe? So, luckily, I am homeschooled, which helps okay. a lot. So, it, yes, it really helps a lot, but I will use all my time in the afternoons and in weekends to, mm -hmm. to do everything that I must. Okay. So let's talk about your projects that you'll be embarking on now that you are the new queen here in South Africa. So we are doing a lot of charity work and our advocacy is about people with disabilities and stuff. And mm, yeah. I also advocate for Destiny House. It's a foster care in Kimberley. So we donate a lot of products okay. and like baby products, food and toys and just anything to help the um, people and the foster care. Yeah, yeah. Why are those issues so close to your heart? I mean, why are you so passionate about those issues? Well, I went to Destiny House every week since yeah. I got um, chosen as one of the finalists. Okay. And as soon as I walked in there and I saw the little kids' faces and knowing they don't have parents caring for them broke my heart. So mm, it mm. was just I had to, I had to help them. Mm, mm. And it's a good thing that uh, you now have this platform to help you Definitely. gather more sponsors and uh, more support uh, in, in, in order to carry out your mandate and your vision. Uh, I suppose you've been watching uh, beauty pageants before, isn't it? Yes. Miss a South lot. Africa's, Miss World, etc., etc. So which, uh, which one of the Miss South Africa's or the previous Miss South Africa's that uh, you've aspired to become and why? If there's one model I aspire to become, it would be Roline Strauss. Not wow. only because she won Miss World 2014, but yeah. because she went to Miss World in 2011 and she didn't place. So she went mm. back and she mm. worked harder and she came back in 2014 and won the Miss World 2014. So mm. definitely Raleigh Strauss mm. because she didn't give up on her dreams. Okay. So yes. what is it that fascinates you about Roline? Just her confidence right. and the fact that she worked so hard. Right, yes. right. So, um, after your reign, what do you want to do? Like, uh, maybe after school, what, what is it that you want to do? I really want to open my own modeling school and help other girls that also has the same dream that I had to be able to do modeling and represent mm. South Africa. I want to help them accomplish their dream. 
their dreams and also become a model. Mm. Yes. So what legacy would you love to leave behind? I just want people to know that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Right. And it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from or what you have to make a difference in other people's lives. So if you were to leave SAPC and then uh, just outside SAPC, you find a group of girls who've been watching you, who've been watching this interview and uh, they would love to have a word with you. What would you like to say to them? I would like to say to them to never give up on what they want to accomplish in mm -hmm. life and to yes, just follow your dreams and don't be able, be able to take risks sure. and don't be scared right, because right. I know I was scared and I thought I'm not going to get anywhere and look where I am today. Right. Yes. <laughs> so how are the preparations for Miss Teen Universe uh, coming along? It's going on well. Mm -hmm. So we, we obviously have a lot of interviews now and okay. we do a lot of practicing and I will meet a lot of new people now, but it's going on very well. Tell Thank me, you. what do you do in your preparations? I mean, you, you, do, you do the catwalks, uh, obviously. What else do you do as you prepare for this role? Obviously, all the charity work that I possibly can to okay. help my immunity and to encourage other girls. And I need to go talk to schools and do a lot of interviews. And yes, it's just practice your interviews and right, your pageant, right. your walk. Everything mm, is so mm. important. And it's all the little things that counts, like grooming and stuff, okay. to be able to become the Miss Teen Universe. All right. Uh, Tiana, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, once again, congratulations and all the best thank in you. November. And uh, I love your crown, by the way. It's so beautiful. <laughs> but I want to see you uh, on this show in November with a much bigger crown. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you for this opportunity. Great stuff. Lovely. <laughs> all right. We just spoke to the new Miss Teen Universe South Africa. And she's 16 years old, by the way. She's Tiana Velumse from the Northern Cape.